Ken Root, Track Digest. I'm here with uh, Max McLaughlin, a third place finish tonight. Pretty good run for you guys. Track you never ran at before. Yeah, it's uh, really fun. You know, first time here. I, I saw some videos and knew it was a, a badass place, but uh, you don't know till you come. And, and uh, definitely lived up to uh, its, its expectations. And we had a really good car. We, um, you know, honestly just made the wrong tire decision, went too soft. And, uh, you know, top two were a lot harder than us. And I think we might have had the better setup race car, just uh, didn't have the tires to match at the end to, to pull it off. But, um, you know, we've been trying a lot of stuff here lately, and I think it's finally starting to pay off. Yeah, it's a great job. Did you, um, were you surprised Jimmy gave you the outside? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Um, I don't know if he chose the top because he, uh, you know, I, I timed both those starts really good, actually. I, I got, uh, you know, really, two really good starts and uh, ran with him on the bottom, so I don't know if he thought maybe uh, that the bottom was better, And uh, but once he gave me that top, I could really uh, take off with it, but... Um, you know, we led for a while. We had a really good race car, but, um, you know, tires just started to go away and lose drive, and Fuller, uh, you know, just took off. Yeah. You've, you've been really steady with this car all year long. Uh, you got a win down in Florida, and uh, it just wherever it seems that you run this car, you're always in the up battling for the lead. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's been a game changer for me coming to, you know, Coffee McCready Enterprises and, um, you know, having uh, Ann and Carl and Myers giving me the opportunity with, uh, you know, and Vic Coffee to, put me in their race car it's uh it was pretty cool and it's almost like uh, i was a little unproven i didn't win a super dirt series race before coming here and now we've won two and um you know been on the podium for the last two races as well and uh you know i feel like we um you know would have picked a little different tire tonight we probably could have been on victory lane or contended very good shot and then uh, if we had a couple more laps at bristol we definitely could have contended for the win so uh, we're on the right track we're right there it's all you can ask for and if you consistently run up front you'll you'll win races yeah, and you get to come back here again in June there when uh, Dale races here, but uh, a little different tire and everything. Yeah, it, it is. It's a completely different tire, but you take our notes and, and know what uh, you know, we needed to do here and, and change it to, uh, you know, that series and, and adapt. And uh, we have a really good team with Norm Hansel's 357 over there, and uh, we've struggled at the beginning of the year, but we're really starting to figure some stuff out the last race and, um, you know, found some, some stuff we needed to change, and I think we can go contend for races for the rest of the year. Would you – I mean, you've been – a lot of tracks and around the whole country. What did you think of this track? Top five on my list, honestly. It's uh, a lot of fun, and I had a ton of fun even in the heat race. You know, my uh, one of my best friends, Tyler Dipple, him and I were throwing bombs at each other for the heat race, which probably isn't the smartest thing. But <laughs> we're both locked into the redraw, but that's uh, you know, it doesn't matter if we're throwing the football in the front yard, racing, or uh, you know, playing Xbox. Him and I are super competitive, so um, I kind of expected it going into one. <laughs> Good job, Max. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Once again with uh, Max McLaughlin, third place.